Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to kind of go over some jailbreak information. I know a lot of people are waiting for a new jailbreak for 9.03 and up, as well as a PS5 jailbreak. Um, this could lead to possibly good news, but let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. As you can see, one day ago here, the flow did get a bounty of $20,000. Um, if you're familiar with the flow, or if you're not familiar with the flow, if we go ahead and click on his name, you can see that previously, almost a year ago, or we start here, two years ago, he did get a bounty of $10,000, which was the 6.72. Um, later on, a year ago, there was the 7.55, which was another 10000 And then four months ago, he did get 10000 which we're unsure of exactly what it is. We believe that it could be 9.00, but in this case, we already have 9.00, so really it doesn't do anything for us. Only time will tell. But recently, one day ago, he did get $20,000, and this brings up a few things what it could be. Um, if we go ahead and look at his Twitter back in uh, November 7th, you can see that he did post an image of the PS5 with debug settings. Now, with debug settings, it doesn't mean that it's a jailbreak. Um, it just means that he did get the debug settings to come up. Um, there might be more to it, or he might have even got a jailbreak um, that we don't know. If you recall my previous video where we did discuss this when we first brought up the debug settings, and uh, I mentioned with a jailbreak, if it is a jailbreak, it's worth a lot more than $10,000. Um, and that could be exactly what it is. Later on, he posted no plans to disclose no ETA. Um, so it very well could be the PS5 that we could see. And $20,000 is still on the low side. Um, personally, the PlayStation 5 is new. It's only been out maybe a year there now. It's kind of worth a little more than 10000 So if we go ahead and click on PlayStation here, we can bring up the reward chart here. Um, you can see with PlayStation 5 as high being 10000 and then critical being 50000 It's the same for the PS4 as well. Um, I'm thinking maybe a jailbreak would be around 10000 but being the PS5, you would think they would give a little bit more. Uh, 20000 still on the low side maybe 30,000 40,000. I don't think it would be critical. I don't think it's worth 50. Um if we jump over to fail overflow now, they found uh, a way to get the root keys as well as the uh the schematic keys. That can be possibly worth about 50,000. Um but uh that's up to Sony how they uh what they do with that there. But uh we'll just have to wait and see. Now, if we go ahead and look at the flow, he's always requested the closure on everything. So hopefully we will see this and hopefully this one will pop up as well. And we'll just be able to see it. Um, like I said, we think it's for the 9.00, but it could be anything really. Um, it might even be something that doesn't require USB on the 9.00. Okay, so on to c -Turt here. Um, back in March the 11th almost a month ago he did post six months later and I'm still receiving new bounties from PlayStation just wanted to say I'm very happy with the interaction with the team and I can't wait to disclose some of the findings um, it seems that it's going to be something maybe a kernel exploit at the point at the time of this 9.00 has already been exploited it's already been out um, so it's believed that it's going to be something other than 9.00 whether it's going to be 9.00 Zero three or nine point zero four, uh, nine point five zero wasn't out at this time, so don't even ask about that. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. If we go ahead and jump over to Hacker One here, we can see the latest one was seven months of C turret. So that's obviously not what he's talking about. Um, they didn't show up here yet, but if we go ahead and click on C turret here, we can see that he has two of three. So the current one that he might be talking about, it's just not closed yet, and we just have to wait and see what happens once it does get closed. Okay, so another topic I want to bring up, and I think it's very important that we do bring it up. A lot of people have been uh, questioning it or whatnot, 
Zeno is working on a PS5. Um, that's what he's working. He's not working on the PS4. If something does come up, I would imagine he'll go and check it out on the PS4. But currently, that is what he's working on is the PS5. Um, at this point, I don't really see a point of a PS4 jailbreak. Um, most of us ha are already on 9.00, and uh, anything could be backported below that. Now, if we do get a PS5 jailbreak, anything that we're not able to play on the PS4 will more than likely be able to be backported from the PS5 and then brought over to the PS4 as long as it's a PS4 games. Currently we're able to grab our PS4 games that require 9.03 or 9.04, pop them into the PS5 and go ahead and play them. Same with updates, uh, the newer updates that are required, they require higher firmware or whatever. Currently at this point we're able to pop the disc in on our PS4 install the update just like you would do through your debug settings or goal 10 and then go ahead and bring that hard drive over and plug it into the PS5 um, and then go ahead and play it that way but I think that once we do see a PS5 jailbreak then we'll definitely see some backporting being done from the PS5 side of it and brought over to the PS4 now that's only for PS4 games don't get it mixed up with PS5 games being able to play on the PS4 that's not the case just for PS4 games and I don't think that uh, anybody's really interested in the PS4 as much anymore because now there is jailbreaks there everybody's kinda interested with the PS5 and getting it jailbroken and then seeing what we can actually do with the system okay guys one more thing I just want to go over here um, Sony Nightmare did post a PS Online bypass. He asked me if I could use my name. It was April Fool's joke. Um, some people got upset about it because they went through all the trouble. There was one guy that uh, couldn't get it to work on his 5.05, .05, so he pulled out his 9.00 to try to get it working on that, and he did get prompted with the message, April Fool's. He was not happy with the time that he wasted. Um, at the time when Sony asked me to use my name, I didn't really think that anybody would actually fall for it, be an April Fool's, even though it was posted the day before April Fool's. Um, at the time, I didn't think. So I am sorry for that there. Um, but with that being said, if something like this does come out, before you try it, you got to think about it. Um, if it's your account that you usually use on a regular regular time it's gonna probably get banned and not only that the system will get banned as well um, Sony's not gonna have another PS3 incident here where everybody's cheating online with uh, jailbreaks and stuff like that and not only that we're coming into a to a stage where these systems are cross-platform Xbox not gonna have Sony's people coming over with uh, modded guns and and whatnot um, so they're gonna hammered down on anything like this if it does happen. I can't see it happening. Um, it's very unlikely for anything like this to happen. But I just want to point that out and uh, just apologize to you guys. I didn't think that anyone would actually fall for it. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to leave the video at that guys. Um, if you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.